We're going to talk a little bit about muscadines today. North Carolina produces about 1,200 tons of muscadines for fresh consumption as well as winemaking. That's a value of about $374,000 for the state of North Carolina. Now the muscadine is actually, uh, oftentimes it's called a scuppernong, and it was it originated in North Carolina. It was discovered in North Carolina by the explorers and, and uh, used by many of the colonists. And today it's still a very, very popular grape. Now I'm a transplanted Yankee, and we grow a lot of bunch grapes up north, um, the Concord grapes. So coming to the south, that was a little bit, you know, these are a little bit different. They are not a bunch grape. They form singly on the plant, and they have this wonderfully sweet, sweet fruit, but this thick skin. And I didn't really know what to do with this when I first got here to North Carolina. The skin itself is actually very high in a material called uh, resveratrol, which is a material that has lots of uh, antioxidants in it that's used for anti-aging. And they're coming up with a lot of different products that they are using these skins in. They always, you know, they always talk about all the, the vitamins and minerals are in the skin, and that is particularly true of the muscadine. Now, the muscadine is a very easy plant to grow here in North Carolina, particularly in our region. And there are some varieties, such as this one. It's called Carlos. It is a bronze muscadine. Scuppernongs are usually referred to as the bronze ones. There's also some red varieties of muscadine. But uh, Carlos, the bronze, is actually a self-fertile plant. So in this case, we just have one of these out in the garden, and it produces a multitude of grapes that we've got fresh for, for um, harvesting, or they're great to make jellies with as well. Now, there are other varieties that are not self-fertile, so you need to be careful about your choice, but the Extension Service does have lots of information on growing muscadines, and, and as we look towards the future and we think about ways that we can convert our landscapes to edible landscapes, muscadine is a great one to think about. So give us a call and get your brochure on how to grow muscadine grapes. With your Fox 8 Garden Report, I'm Karen Neal.